red and one more black. Maybe wrong choice of shot, but still not a bad lead. But this frame far from over yet. Yeah, he looked at the scoreboard, so he would have known that he only needed it. Maybe he just got into it too well. Peter Abdel Falk. That was a tough shot, but he's uh, come out very nicely from it. He could quite easily have left the red on. This is a tricky cutback if he's thinking of taking the pot into the right corner. Well, I'll be amazed if Ronnie takes the pot on here. I think a good safety. Find the middle of that ball cushion. He's gone into that too much. Needs the blue to come to his rescue. And the flick off the yellow, does the blue help? Only just. He was fortunate there because he mishit that last shot completely. He didn't want the red to go anywhere near the corner pocket. Couldn't do much else but that. You've got to get a good length of the cue ball. Gotta get it tight on that cushion if you can. And once again, that's overhit. It just makes it so much more easy for your opponent to play a better safety shot. And in this case, if he'd have found the, the ball cushion, he may have got the snooker with the yellow. But it's first frame, just going to get used to the pace of the table. Could have done without the cannon on the green. Yeah, I think it's just been noticeable, though, in this first frame. I don't know whether this will be the pattern during the match, Dennis, but just get the feeling that Peter Eddin isn't going to push the bolt out too often, is he? I mean, normally you'd expect him to take this red on. It could be a frame winner, but he's given it plenty of thought. Yeah, normally you don't really have a game plan, but I think Peter Ebden has a game plan in his mind, and... As you say, he's not going to push the boat out, but he's certainly having a go at this one, but we shall see. <laughs> and just applause from the other table, just on his backswing, and where's that red going to finish? Is he going to get away with this? Well, the one between the pink and black will pot. This is a chance for Ronnie. Yeah, but he, he edged his bets on that pot, Peter, didn't he? And playing at that pace and trying to screw back to Bork, that made the pot doubly difficult. Chance for Ronnie, as you say. One. It's not a clear run to the line. The green's not on its spot. The brown's a little bit awkward. Good positional play needed. Yeah, just looking ahead, the green's not too badly placed. I think it will slide past the brown but that's uh, quite a few shots away but Ronnie will already have sussed that out Eight.
Yeah, if he gets that far, the problem's going to be getting from brown to blue. 15. 16. Anywhere sort of straight on the yellow after this next shot would be good. Because I'm sure the green passes the brown. And then it's leaving an angle on the brown to possibly get to the blue. He's coming around to have a look at the green. So, I mean, if he was to get nicely on the green and leave the white where the green is, he'd have an angle then to get up to the blue from the brown. Yeah, I think that's what he just looked at, didn't he? Leave himself straight on the green. 25. Because you need the perfect angle on the brown. You don't want to be playing the brown with too much pace. So a key shot coming up, quick glance at the scoreboard, eight points behind. He needs the four remaining colours. He's overhit it. I suppose, Dennis, if you're going to go wrong side of the blue, better off coming much too much to the wrong side of the blue. It's an easy in and out of balk. It's all about pace, this shot. It's all about pace. He's coming up a little bit short. This isn't easy. This is a delicate little shot he's faced with here. That wasn't easy. Has he got the snooker? I think the black is coming to his rescue. Okay, he's fluked the snooker, as you can see, but Ronnie O'Sullivan knows he should have clinched this opening frame. Yeah, it was one of those, you're just trying to hold for the black, and, it, and sometimes you just sort of half quit on the shot, and by the time the cue ball reaches the object ball, it's just slid off line. Lucky to get the snooker, he's one point in front. Oh, that's a bit unlucky. That's a bit unlucky. Might he's got to get the black as well, Ronnie, because uh, Peter Ebden can still draw. A bit old banana shot, this. Now making certain he pots the pink. Now he's seven it's... points in front, so he'll get another chance. He would have liked this black easier than this. <laughs> and he might have to play it left-handed. He is. Well, can you believe it? We could start this first round match with a re-spotted black. Peter's got to be careful with the cue ball. He doesn't let it run into a pocket. We've seen Mark Allen do that against the young Chinese player, pot the black and go in off to lose the match. Well, close to the middle pocket, but... Well, who would have thought at the start of this match we were going to have a re-spotted